students and welcome to episode one of the Crochet With Me um, Complete an Afghan series that I am doing. What we're going to be doing today is working on the centers of your flowers. So depending on what choices you made for the colors for your afghan, get that color now. The color that you chose to do the center of the flowers. Mine, obviously, is going to be brown because I'm doing a sunflower. The first thing you want to do is to chain five. Just do a slip knot on your crochet hook and chain five. One. four, five. So you've got five chained. Then you're going to slip stitch in the first chain to form a ring. Count back to make sure. One, two, three, four, five. So you slip stitch in that first chain. Slip stitch is basically like doing a single crochet, but you just pull through both loops and you formed a ring and then you're going to chain three one two three and then you're going to do 15 double crochets in the ring so double crochets yarn over put your hook through the center of that ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through the second one. So that's one, and you're going to do that 15 times. Yarn over, through, yarn over, pull up, that's my, that's Mr. Artie, yarn over, Pull through, yarn over, pull through. So that would be two. I also want to mention that while you are doing the 15, go ahead and catch this tail into the crochet as you're going along. Let me show you what I mean by that. This is that little tail that was left when you first started your um, chain five. Just make sure that it's laying flat along your the edge of your ring and then just catch it in the crochet and so that it kind of just disappears in your crochet. So there's 15. Go ahead and pause this video and do your 15 and then come back and we'll show you what to do next. Okay, so after you've got your 15, if you're including the first chain three that you did, you will have 16 all together. And what you need to do is slip stitch into the top of the chain three. So you just slip stitch again. there like that okay so this was round one so on to round two you want to chain one and then you will do two single crochets in each stitch around and you will have 32 stitches when you're done so here's the top of your stitches this is the first stitch okay so you're going to want to do two single crochets in there and put your hook through wrap around pull up a loop wrap around pull through two that is a single crochet and you want to do two in the same stitch so you go back in the same hole 
and do another single crochet. Let me show you that one more time, up close and in slow motion. hard for you to see on my sample because of the dark color but it's really not that difficult to do so what you want to do is just continue till you get all the way away around to the beginning and you should have 32 stitches so I'm gonna go ahead and do that you go ahead pause this video and you do the same and then meet me back here in a few minutes to continue uh, and finish off round two so welcome back, we, and I have all 32 of my single crochets done. And now what you need to do is slip stitch again in the first single crochet. So you just stick your hook in that first single crochet, do a slip stitch, bleh, slip stitch, that's hard to say. And now you're going to just fasten off. So you take your scissors, snip your brown and the way I fasten off is I just pull it through again pull it all the way through tighten it and then I tie a little knot because I just want to make sure nothing falls apart so there that is the complete completed center of your flower now Depending on the size of the afghan that you are going to be doing, you've probably already predetermined how many blocks you're going to do. If you're going to be doing the completed full-size afghan, then you are going to make 24 of these. So that is your homework assignment for this week. Make all of the centers for all of the blocks that you have decided that you're going to make. And like I said, if you're going to be doing the full-sized afghan, you're going to need 24 of these. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're as excited as I am about doing this project and having something complete, completed by the time we are done. Um, have fun this week working on these centers. Um, I will have the written instructions in the description box below so that if you forget what you're doing, you can just go back, click on my video, and you don't have to watch the whole thing through again if you don't want to. Um, and you can just look down in the description box for the written instructions. Join me next week as we add the petals to our flower.